Let's talk astral projection. If you're not familiar with it, a little quick Google search will um, keep you up to speed. So for those of you watching that are already familiar with it, I'm gonna discuss the first time that I astral projected. So I was watch. I was doing a meditation, um, one of the YouTube meditations, and I just remember hearing this very loud sound. I can't explain it to you. This was not a sound that to me was anything I've ever heard on earth. It was like the crunkling and crunching of paper of like metal and steel. And it was just like, and my body, my, my soul shot out of my body. And I'm looking down at my, at me laying there. And there's this beautiful iridescent cord that is attached to spirit me looking down at physical me and i thought for a moment that i died and i immediately got super scared and as soon as that fear kicked in shot right back into my body so this is the key with astral projection you have to not have any fear in the process because as soon as soon as that fear kicks in so the fear is associated to our root chakra right down below and it, it, so the energy is now at the crown, but once you hit that fear, that's responsible for the root. So that energy shoots right out of your crown, back down to the root, and you're shot right back into your body because the root is grounding. So, yeah, and I, it, you really have to let go of fear in this process. The, the number one thing with the spiritual journey is fear, letting it go, because everything you want is on the other side of fear. And as you begin to awaken, um, you begin to see dimensions upon dimensions and a lot of these dimensions are very scary they can be scary they will never hurt you but they are scary to watch and to experience and you have to have a certain level of detachment and courage because you have to know that it can't hurt you and you just have to move past it so you know how they say if you're going through heck keep going this is this is what that means so the same with astral projection um but what and so that was the first time my second experience was far more fascinating and i was taken out into space and i was shown a lot of things and it was a beautiful experience but i learned from the first time that if i am scared the the journey stops so highly recommend uh if you're meditating to make sure that you work on your root chakra so you let go of any fears that you have of death of dying uh you have any fears associated with your physical body or with earth and letting them go in order for you to be able to reach that crown chakra energy past the crown to the astral or the soul star chakra through there where you get to the stellar gateway um, and you really don't get to the stellar gateway unless you pass away so we don't have to worry about that one but the soul star is, is right there and it just shows you everything and it's a beautiful experience so highly recommend it 1010 would do again